Hey everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick video reviewing this battery that I purchased about two years ago. Uh, October will be coming up on two years. And I've had this battery right exactly where you see it. In the heat, in the Texas summer, in the Texas winter, all of the above. It's worked flawlessly and I'd love to tell you about why I like it so much. So, first things first, compact, very small. This battery probably weighs less than 25 pounds. Very, very powerful, very good power demand, and it stays pretty consistent whenever you put it under heavy loads. I've had it running my washing machine in my off-grid solar trailer for about two years now, and all it really does is help with the peaks. So if, you know, we lose power or something like that, it really just helps soak up that extra load and keep the cycle going. Hey, real quick, guys, if you would please like and subscribe to the video, it really helps out the channel. We're trying to get monetized. So we got the multimeter hooked up, red on red, and we're just going to go down the line here and see what it's looking like. All right. Nothing. Okay, we're making some contact there. Now, again, I have not balanced this cell at all. The way you see it is the way I have been using it, right? So everything that you see is raw. I did not pre-charge this battery. Just whatever the inverter has been doing, it's just been doing. I haven't taken any time to load load up any cells separately of each other, you know, charge them, discharge them, anything like that. So what you see right here is exactly how the battery sits all the time. And like I say, this has been a pretty maintenance-free deal for the last two years. And now I know what you're saying. You should have a balancer on there. And I agree with you. I think 100% that should be the case. But not all the time. Not all the time we can do these things. Not all the time we can set these things up properly. And not everything has to be a high-budget build. I literally bought this battery and put it right where you see it just to serve a purpose. I do not want to mess with it. I do not want to be dealing with it all the time. I do not want to be looking at the cell voltages and make sure they're all even and this and that. I want it to just work. And it does. It does just work. So overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with its performance. Here we are. We're going to test this little connection. If you wanted to hook up a battery balancer or you know something like that or a BMS, you would easily be able to do that here. So you, as you can see, I'm probing this connection, showing you all the voltages here. This is this is how it came. This is exactly the way it came out of the box. I did not change anything. I did not add that connector. Battery hookup was so nice as to leave it there for us. So you could really do anything with this battery. Um, I needed it for my off-grid grid tie inverter that I showed in a previous video, and it works great. You know, I only bought it for that purpose. I did not actually want to buy a 24-volt battery, but I had to in a pinch because that's what the inverter was. So, you know, I had to use it, and I needed it for this application. I would say overall, great purchase. Great shipping. It came to me in a really nice box. It, it came in a pretty reasonable amount of time, probably about seven, six to seven days, I would say, it took to ship. And... That's really it, guys. I can't sing sing enough praise about this battery. Would I buy one again? Absolutely. Absolutely, I would buy one again. I would probably buy 10 of these and use them in a more serious setup. Here's the bottom. The bottom's great. You know, you need to watch out on metal surfaces. You could bridge some of those connections and cause some arc. But you just got to be mindful of that. Um, I use a little piece of EVA foam down there. That's just some, you know, grip foam for like a watercraft or something I had laying around. Works great. I've never had a problem. I've never had any of these connections actually meet anything. And as you can see, there's plastic. The actual case of the cells goes past the connections and there's plexiglass in between all of the cells. So you got a pretty good distance between the bottom of the actual connections and what you're resting it on. Here you go, some quick measurements. I'm not even going to struggle with trying to call them out. You guys can see that. This is in American inches. So, you know, hope that's whatever it is to you. And I am holding tension on the tape measures as to take the slack out. So I know that the end of the tape measure kind of wiggles a little bit. Oops. Yeah, come on, man. All right. 
so yeah, I know the tape measure wiggles at the end a little bit, and that can cause some different readings. So I'm trying to take as much slack as I can out of it, so that way it's an accurate measurement for you guys. And I'm just trying to hit all my points here, because you never know what you might need to see for your project and for things that you need to you know use this battery for. So I just want someone to get an overall idea of you know what this brings, what size this is, and what you're going to be able to do with this. And I think they actually sell the cases for it. So if you needed to encase it in like a metal case, I think it's uh, air cooled as well. I think they could sell you the case also, but I got I went the cheaper route because I didn't need it. This is indoors. So there's going to be really no weather that's going to be hitting this. And that's it guys. I'm just ecstatic about this battery and the performance that I've gotten from it. If it died tomorrow, I wouldn't be upset at all. Thanks everybody.